Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I wanted to make a video on an Android app. It may also be available for Apple, I don't know, I have an Android. Uh, it's called Coin Dozer. it's by Game Circus. And it's ad-based, as you can see on my screen, there's a damn ad on it right now. Let's see if we can close that, there we go. And basically, if you're not aware of this game, you drop coins up here by tapping, just like that. It pushes these down. You want them to drop in the basket here. They can also fall off the side, like that one just did, and you don't want it to do that. So I want to give you guys a quick overview of the game, tell you my strategy, and I also want to give you a tip or little trick so you can regenerate a lot of coins faster than what you're supposed to. So obviously, it's an ad-based game. It typically gives more ads if you are uh, passive, if you're just letting it run just like this. Like if I don't click anything for like 10 seconds, an ad's going to pop up on the screen. So you do kind of want to keep going on stuff. More things will unlock as you level up. I just installed this on Bluestack, so I'm playing it on my computer. But my main uh, phone, my regular phone, is at a level 110. I think my girlfriend's either at 121 or 126. So here you can see the level and it goes up. Uh, every time you drop a coin, this goes up. And you'll get a prize over here every time you level. That's a coin wall. So what happens is each of these sides, a little wall will come up. And that way coins can't fall off the side. They can only fall down the center. And as you play more and more, this little meter is going to fill up. It's called Shake. If it gets all the way to the red, I always wait till it gets to the red. That's the most powerful. You click the Shake button, and the whole thing's going to do a little vibrate deal, and things are going to fall this way. So it helps you dispose of more things. Every gold coin is worth one up here. The silver coins are worth two, and they also have these specialty coins, which you can see which each of those here. There's a gift coin, looks like that. If that drops down in the basket down here, it'll drop like four or five random other specialty coins. The giant coin works just like the shake button, except for it's a big red coin like that. It drops, well, you'd sink the red coin and a big yellow coin drops. Shaking the board, bringing stuff down. Coin shower drops a bunch of coins. A dozer dollar is just their currency. You can buy a few things there. The coin walls we already talked about. This is bonus XP, which is the number up here. Uh, the highest I've seen is 125. I don't know if it gets any higher than that. The ads are annoying. We're going to have to show you how to fix that later. And the silver burst turns gold coins into silver coins. So other things you can do is... You can buy coin walls for six dozer dollars, or you can buy a box of prizes, which drops three or four prizes for uh, four dozer dollars. Here's the list of prizes. They all come with a different bonus, and you can get up to nine. So if you get one of each of these colored dice, then you get the bonus, which says coin walls stay up longer. And after you complete one of these, you'll see a grid of six. And then once you complete all six, you'll be able to go up to nine. So nine total. They also have puzzles. Uh, puzzle pieces will drop. You'll know it's a puzzle piece because little uh, I puzzle piece icons will float away from its head. And it'll complete puzzles. Because I just started this on my computer, I cannot yet access the puzzles. So my strategy for this game, what I like to do is drop two as like a square. Drop two and then two more. So you get kind of a double push, I guess. Now another strategy you could use is my girlfriend likes to drop four in a row. That was too slow there. And every time just keep dropping four. Here comes a giant coin, show you what happens when that drops. And you see a bunch of stuff. Collect four or more coins at once for a coin attack. This will create special coins and prizes. There we go. So that's what the giant coin does for you. And you can see the shake came up. Another thing I want to show you is once you... This number right here shows you when another coin will come into effect. When you're not playing the game it's like every eight or ten minutes or something you get another coin it's a lot faster when you actually have the game open but you can get free coins by completing different offers and of course this offer screen is different size so you can't see everything I'm looking at but 
there is one particular one that I wanted to show you if I can get it on the screen okay so you can't see because it's off the side of the screen when it goes to this but there's one I wanted to show you it's titled save with eSurance the regular price is 37 coins, but they're all boosted right now, so the total is actually 111 coins. I'm almost positive this is the one I did on my phone, and it says complete a quick action. And on my phone, I think all I did was click on it, and I didn't do anything else, and it gave me 111 coins. So let's let this load real quick. See, eSurance gave you 111 coins. All I did was click on it. Let's see, let's go back to Coindozer. There you go, 111 coins. So if you're watching this anytime relatively soon after I uploaded it, there's an easy way to get a bunch of coins. Every time you complete one of these, you also get a little uh, a goblet, which I don't even know what you're supposed to use these things for. So obviously I have a lot more coins now. And the bad part of me doing that is I need to use up these coins because I want to show you how to regenerate coins a lot faster. Actually, I'll just tell you about it because I'm not sure how to do it on BlueStacks. Let's assume it, you're on your phone. Like I said, it's about every 20 seconds a new coin will appear in your available coins up here. And that's while you're playing the game. So in theory, you could just leave the game open and keep collecting coins every 20 seconds. But that doesn't actually... There's a coin wall coming up. That doesn't actually work because anytime an ad comes up, it will stop the regeneration and you'll have to X out the ad. So the way around that is to just turn off your internet connection. If you have your mobile data on or your Wi-Fi, just open up Coin Dozer and then go and turn off your internet connection and that'll stop those ads from popping up but you're still going to get uh, the regeneration at the same time when your app is running also one thing you might have to do is change your display settings typically I have my phone display turn off after one minute of inactivity And when I am doing, uh, when I'm trying to get my coins built back up with that method, I'll turn the display to either never turn off or to turn off after an hour. So that's it, guys. This is Medium Shake. Okay, Big Shake got it. This is Coin Dozer by Game Circus. You can look it up in the Google Play Store. It's a great way to kill some time. Typically, it's probably about five minutes of gameplay before you run out of coins. Which is a nice little break, in my opinion. It's kind of a fun game. Game Circus actually has several games that are kind of neat to play. And I'll probably do some videos on some of their other ones. They're not as refined. I kind of think this is their best game. And they have different versions. If you want, there's also a pirate version of this game. Which is the same concept with just different bells and whistles. So if this helped you at all on Coin Dozer or gave you an idea of an app to try out, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching, guys.